Now, if you know me, I am no stranger whatsoever to ring videos. I mean, just look at the catalog on screen right now. NBA, NFL, NHL, MLB, MLS. I love doing these types of videos where I rank all the championship rings from each sport. And due to very popular demand, you guys have been requesting this over and over again, the college football championship rings. I've been looking forward to do this for a while. It's taken me some time to make this video because a lot of these rings aren't as well documented as the major league sports. So I really had to do some digging to find out all the past championship rings, but here we are. I appreciate you guys' support through my journey on this YouTube channel and ranking. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave like and subscribe. And I hate to be that guy, but only 0.5 of my viewers are subscribed, which is a good and a bad thing. Obviously, I wish I had more subscribers, but it just goes to show how many views from different people I've been getting. So at the same time, thank you to all the new upcoming viewers who've seen this video and clicked on it. But enough of me rambling, let's rank these college football rings from worst to best. Another thing to keep in mind is that this ranking is all the college football champion rings. So smaller rings that are given out for different bowls, such as the Rose Bowl, will not be on this list. Strictly just the main college championship rings. And for time reasons and your entertainment, I've decided to make the cutoff the 1987 Miami ring. All the rings before 1987 are very repetitive. They're almost carbon copies of each other besides switching out the team color. So trust me, you guys aren't missing anything at all if I were to rank all the ones older than these. So I thought that the 1987 Miami ring would be a good place to cut it off. So we have an even 40 rings to rank worst to best. Now with that being said, at number 40, we do actually have the 1987 Miami ring. Nothing against this ring as it's a pretty standard ring for the time it was made. However, compared to all the newer rings where technology is much better and the creation of these rings is so much more detailed, it will be the odd one out placing at 40th. But for its time, it's not a bad ring at all. At number 39, we have the 1997 Michigan ring. Now it does have the big Michigan M in the center of the ring surrounded by some diamonds, a nice design, but it doesn't really feature any coloring of Michigan. I know Michigan is a dark blue, which is shown by the logo but there's no Michigan color anywhere else throughout the ring. A little more of a basic design for its time. Now these upcoming rings have a very similar design style, but just with a couple coloring variations. That being said, at number 38, we have the Colorado 1990 ring. You see this very standard design where it has the number in the center, and in this ring in particular, it does feature the Colorado black, but that being said, there isn't really color that pops out at you. At 37, we have the slight improvement of the Miami 1989 ring, which features some green to actually give it some color. At 36, we have the 1990 Georgia Tech ring, which in my opinion features a better blue and the formatting of the ring looks better. And at 35, we have Washington's 1991 ring, which I just like a little better due to the designs on the corner of the ring, the bold color, and the more visible diamonds in the center. Now, one thing I'd like to clear up, you may have noticed that there were two 1990 rings and that's because the old college format, this was before the official college football playoff format, so there wasn't a championship game to outright determine who the national championship was. Instead, the national champion was actually determined by polls, and there were two different polls, the AP Top 25 poll and the coaches poll. In most seasons, there's a team that clearly is the best of the best, and they can distance themselves from other teams where both polls agree on who to crown the national championship. But previously, there was the chance that both the coaches poll and the AP poll would select a different team team and therefore they would just crown two national champions so there's many instances and you'll see in this video where there are actually two champions on the same year and i'll make sure to point them out when they come across at number 34 we have the oklahoma 2000 ring the white diamonds in the center that are all compacted look really nice however besides that there's not really much else going for this ring there's no team representation and the one in the center is not filled with diamonds but the gold and silver do mesh really nicely coming in at number 33 we have the 1993 florida state ring a sort of similar design aspect to the last couple of rings, except the center is multiple diamonds instead of the solid background, and the football shaped diamond in the center of the number is a nice touch. At 32 we have the 1998 Tennessee ring. It has the Tennessee T logo in the center, and I like how it's a pretty gold ring compared to the rest. Also all the white diamonds in the center are very clean looking. At 31 we have the Ohio State ring from 2002. Once again, it has the giant number in the center with a solid colored background. However, this is 10 years in advance and just all the text looks more clean. The ring as a whole looks more sharp and that's why there's some distance on this ring compared to the previous rings with the same design. At number 30, we have the Notre Dame 1988 ring. I do prefer rings that utilize the logo rather than a number and I feel like the logo is really done well here. 
and I like how it is in a border that is football shaped with diamonds in the center. An older ring, but it gets the job done. At 29, we have the 1996 Florida ring. I actually really like how instead of the normal diamonds in the center of the number, it's these blue sapphires instead, and on the background behind the number is where the diamonds are. The border is also done very well and it's a very enjoyable ring. At 28, we have the 2001 Miami ring. Besides the main object in the center, it's very similar to all the numbered rings. However, I like how this has the Miami U in the center instead of the number, differentiating itself from the rest. But right after, at 27, we have the 1991 Miami ring. I think the logo is better done here as we can see the colors of the logo and the diamond background looks better with the big diamond right smack dab in the middle. Coming in at 26, we have the 1994 Nebraska ring. Now this one has the number in the center, however it has two different backgrounds. It has the football shaped ruby background and then surrounded by a gold background. I like all the layers in this ring and I prefer the football shaped design. At 25 we have another football shaped ring and that is the 1997 Nebraska ring. I prefer how they make the football shape the entire background and the one in the center is properly centered, the diamonds inside are clean and I think it's just a better formatted ring but it really comes down to personal preference. At 24, we have the 2008 Florida ring. Now this one has a giant F in the center, obviously representing Florida. I think since it's newer than all the previous rings we've seen, there should be a little bit more design and it would have been cooler if there was an actual Gator logo in the center. But I think I'm asking for too much. Overall, it's a basic ring, but I do really enjoy the border. Coming in at number 23, we have the 1995 Nebraska ring. This is their back-to-back -back ring as symbolized by the two giant diamonds in the center. I like the background to those diamonds and the other diamonds kind of making the stadium shape around them. I also like how it says right there back to back on the border just so everybody knows the purpose of those two diamonds and the success that they had over these two years. Alabama's 1992 ring takes the 22 spot and I think this is a really good ring for its age. I like the A in the center and how all the diamonds are placed, especially the diamond in the center of the A. It's a great ring. You also have the corner diamonds and it's a very clean design. At number 21, we have the 2006 Florida ring, and it actually features the coach's trophy in the center rather than a team logo or a number. I actually really like the design of featuring this as the focal point. We are now entering the upper half of the rings, and starting off at number 20, we have the 2005 Texas ring. Now, there isn't really that much team representation or coloring besides the bronze coloring behind the number, which I really enjoy. Also, I enjoy the blockier diamonds featured on this ring, and I feel like the numbers itself are really well done. The blocky diamonds on the side border as well as the circular ones in the center also are nice touches. At number 19 we have the 1999 Florida State ring. Now this also features the coaches trophy, however it features two of them because this was the second national title of Florida State so I really enjoy the focal point of the two central coaches trophies and the other designs are well done as well throughout the ring. Overall a very solid ring. At number 18 we have the Southern California 2003 ring. Now this one has the football shape in the center, but I really like how they have the ruby right in the center and it is done perfectly, as well as the number inside the ruby. There are plenty layers to this ring and the diamonds are all formatted well, and it's just a clean design, simple but clean. At number 17, we actually have the Southern California ring from the next season, 2004. Now this is actually a really, really clean design for its age. Considering this was made in 2004, the style and the format of the front of this ring just looks stunning. I do wish there was some color, that is the main thing lacking with this ring. If there was some color and some way that they signify that this is their second back-to-back -back ring, then this easily would go down as one of the best rings out there. But as of right now, it still is a solid ring with a great design. At number 16, we have the 2013 Florida State ring. Overall, a solid design. It has the Florida State lettering over the coach's trophy, which I like. It's a nice touch. I wish there was a little bit more color instead of just the thin line of red. But overall, another solid ring and a solid format. At number 15, we have the 2003 LSU ring. Now you might have noticed that the first USC ring that we mentioned was also from 2003, and that is because this is one of the instances where both teams share the national title. But in my opinion, this ring is done better. It has the LSU lettered logo in the center with the purple diamonds inside of the letters, which I think looks really good. And to add even more purple, the letters themselves are outlined. The rest of the ring just features diamonds scattered throughout the background in a classic font of national champions. At number 14, we have the 2011 Alabama ring. Now there's a lot going on with this ring. I'm not sure how I 100% feel about it, but I do think overall I enjoy it. The Alabama logo in the center looks great, and I love how they have the coach's trophy 
in the Alabama colors right behind it. The border feels a little bit bulky. It feels like there's a tiny bit too much going on here. And I wish it might have been a little silver because I think the gold is just adding one more extra color than there needs to be on this ring. So the center is done really well. Border could be a little bit better, but overall it does place here at 14. At 13, we have another Alabama ring, and this is from their 2009 championship. Pretty simple compared to all the newer generation rings. It's a smaller ring, and it features Alabama's logo in the center with the diamond circle around it and the Alabama red background. Simple, but gets the job done perfectly in my opinion. The 2007 LSU ring places here at number 12. I really like how it has just the purple LSU logo in the center, and it has the two coaches' trophies signifying their second championship. It checks off all the boxes as far as team theming, representation, and the formatting is solid. At 11, we have the 2017 Alabama ring. It features two CFP trophies in the background signifying that it is their second championship in the past three years, and it has that iconic Alabama logo right on the bottom corner of it. I wish there was some more color thrown in here, but I do like the way that they designed this. We have now made it to the top 10 rings in college football history. And kicking off the number 10, we have the 2010 Auburn ring. Now this takes more of a unique shape with a football shape really taking over here with some bordering font on the sides just to widen it out a little bit. Some people don't really like this design style, but I like how it kind of branches out and does something new. And the style doesn't bother me at all. I think it's really cool. The CFP trophy in the middle is perfectly centered and it has the beautiful Auburn blue logo underneath. This is a well formatted ring and it looks really good. Now these top nine rings are all super close in quality, very similar aspects to them. So it all comes down to personal preference and you honestly could change the order of any of these nine rings. At number nine, we have the 2016 Clemson ring. A very clean design. I love the Clemson paw print in the center and the CFP trophy. I just wish that the orange background was a little bit more detailed than the plain orange solid color, but the coloring is done very nicely as well as the orange diamonds on the border. At number 8, we have the 2015 Alabama ring. A very similar design to the previous Clemson ring with the CFP trophy in the background, except I think that this ring just does everything a little bit better. I prefer the diamond background over the orange solid coating, and I like how Alabama has that red outline to it. The four red rubies on the corner of the football look great, and in my opinion, this ring really shines how there's a diamond at the top of the CFP trophy. At 7, we have the 2021 Georgia ring. Now this also follows just the similar pattern of these last couple of rings with the team's logo in the center, the CFP trophy behind it, and the team's colored background. I think this one's definitely the cleanest. It has a diamond in the CFP trophy. I love the black stacked background. And this has the sharpest font and design out of all three. At number six, we have the 2014 Ohio State ring. This ring is just one giant boast. Eight large football shaped diamonds clearly representing the eight national championships they have. The Ohio State logo in the center is well done and the ring follows a kind of football shaped pattern which is really enjoyable. Kicking off the top five, we have the 2012 Alabama ring. Now this ring has a lot of things going for it. It's a rather simple design compared to the rest. However, I really enjoy the ruby border circle around the ring and how the center of the ring is slightly red tinted just to give off those Alabama colors. The logo is well done, and you have the three football shaped diamonds representing their three national titles in the span of four years. At number four, we have the latest ring, and this is the Georgia 2022 ring. Just think of an upgraded version of their 2021 ring. This time, they have more hardware to brag about, as you can see with the two CFB trophies in the back, both with a diamond in the center and two diamonds at the base each. The slight red background looks great, and I like how they have this radiating style of the national championships font that goes around the center of the ring. A really crafty design. At number three, we have the Alabama 2020 ring. It has the beautiful Alabama logo right in the center, and I love the way that they just made it a solid red color. It has the three CFB trophies in the background, which represents their three titles in the last six years. The gold font on each side really helps round out the football and make it a more round shape overall while keeping the football shape in the center intact. And I love the ruby and white diamond pattern that goes along the outside of the ring. Just missing out on the number one spot, we have the Clemson 2018 ring coming in at number two. Now this ring fixes every single issue with their other ring that they won two seasons prior. The background looks better, it's not a solid orange color. Instead, the stone used is slightly translucent so you can see a little bit through the stone which I think just adds a much cooler effect. The logo looks just as good if not better, maybe even a little bit sharper than the previous. And of course, the two giant CFB trophies in the background. The rest of the ring is perfectly symmetrical and simple, which really helps out the center of the ring be the main focus. But with all of that being said, that leaves one national championship ring left, and that leaves 
the champion of the best college football ring, the 2019 LSU Tigers. This ring is just stunning. Now you guys might have a different opinion on what the best ring is, but like I said, personal preference leads me to choosing this ring as my favorite. I love the purple stone background. Even the stone is shaped in a way that it gives other diamond reflections. The LSU logo right across the center. The beautiful CFP trophy right in the background. Four diamond footballs on the outside of the ring representing LSU's four national championships. The beautiful gold font on the sides not only is a common color used on rings, but it perfectly goes with the LSU color scheme. And just the combination of the silver, purple, and gold an absolute beautiful color combination all coming together in this brilliant design. All these aspects combined give me the reason to put the 2019 LSU ring as the greatest college football ring of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, a lot of this does come down to personal preference. Your guys' opinion is probably completely different. And with that being said, put your opinion down in the comments section. Which ring is your favorite? Which rings did you think I ranked too high, ranked too low? Make sure to also put down any other video suggestions in the comments section. Remember guys, videos that you suggest are my favorite videos to make. This was a highly suggested video, so I wasted no time in making it. You guys are the best viewer base one could ask for. Like I said, make sure to help me out by clicking that like button and subscribe if you'd like. I will see you guys in the next Heaps video.